Hello, everyone. My name is Cesar Mora, and I'm administrative clerk at the Exploration and Creativity Park Department for the Los Angeles Public Library. Um, if sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties. So if you can bear with me. Okay. So before we start, we want to thank the National Endowment for the Humanities, our Library Foundation, and all our behind the scenes staff for helping make bring the LMA programs to you virtually. Um, LA Made focuses on the diverse landscape of Los Angeles, highlighting the immense artistic and performance talent that has developed in the course of the city's eclectic history. If you'd like to see more of our amazing programs, please visit our online calendar at lapl.org forward slash events. And for our LA Made programs specifically, visit lamade.org forward slash LA Made. Our website also has blog posts that highlight the library's diverse resources and upcoming programs. Also be sure to join us this Saturday, June 26th at 11 a.m. for a special LMA program featuring NY Times bestselling author and poet, Hanif Abdurraqib, in conversation with Courtney Lilly, head writer of the hit ABC show, Blackish. I'll be discussing Hanif's new book, A Little Devil in America. The program will be streaming live on the library's YouTube and Facebook. And those attending the virtual program will have the opportunity to win a free book. Now, for what we've all been waiting for, I am very excited to introduce today's LMA program with Gation AF, the hit sold out variety show that ran for a year at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in Hollywood before the collapse of modern society. A branch of the renowned Asian AF show, Gation AF, features the best of LGBTQ plus Asian Americans in entertainment. For this one time only event, Six queer Asian comedians have come together for some frivolity at the virtual roundtable. Let's celebrate Pride Month and spill the green tea. Please welcome Sherry Cola, Giovanni Linaya, Nathan Ramos, Dilo, Kasar Mohammed, and Chris Frenfro of Gation AF. Hello! Hi, hi, hi! Hello, <laughs> queer Asians and others. Welcome to Kishina. Hi, everybody. Hello. Yes, if you're here, you are queer. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> Enjoy it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Giovanni Lanayo. I am uh, I am one of the co-producers of Gaijin AF with Nathan Ramos and Chris Renfro, and I'm so excited to be here today. Thank you so much to the LA Public Library for having us. We are super excited to have a little Gaijin Kiki roundtable conversation. We're going to have two stand-up acts and a Q&A where you can ask us questions in the comments, and we will uh, answer them toward the end of this uh, hour of LA Made. So I'm just going to go around and introduce all of these wonderful queer Asians in entertainment, starting with, you may have seen her in uh, East of La Brea or heard her voicing in Jurassic Park Cramp Cretaceous. It's Kasser Mohammed. Hey, what's up everyone? Glad to be here. Hello, Kasser. Hello, happy Pride everyone. Happy Pride. Uh, next up, we've got Nathan Ramos. He's a writer for Disney and for Netflix, and he's got a bunch <laughs> of secret projects Netflix. coming out that he can't talk about. Hi, Nathan. I just wanna say on the mic. Hello. <laughs> Nathan, why do you have that tiny microphone? You know what? Because for Pride Month, you have to say yes to not only yourself, mm -hmm. but to your the atmosphere that you create with your spirit and your being. And this um, was a choice. This was the yes today. This was a yes. <laughs> I, also wanna, I also want to confirm that the microphone is not true to size. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm 400, I am 400 feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, big daddy in the house. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of big daddy slash parents, uh, this next <laughs> person on our panel uh, has been on Reno 911 and Brooklyn 99, probably many other titles with nines in them. It's Chris Renfro. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Hi, okay. hello. Hi, thank you, thank you, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you and welcome. Uh, we've got, oh my gosh, I'm so excited that we have on the panel today from Sense8, from Transparent, from so many wonderful projects. We've got Dilo. Dilo. Welcome, Dilo. I just Dilo. ordered my Amazon mic. My <laughs> <laughs> I heard it was the Gaysian thing to do. Yeah. It should be here in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, it's here now. <laughs> oh, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Giovanni Lanayo. Um, <laughs> yes. Me from uh, Between Two Ferns, the movie, or the currently running progressive commercial with InSync. What's up? Yes. <laughs> I'm Giovanni Lanayo. And lastly, uh, but we're so, so excited to have her. You may have seen her on uh, Good Trouble on Freeform, or you may have seen her doing hilarious stand-up like she's about to do right now. It's Sherry Cola. What's going on, y'all? LA uh, Public Library, thank you for having Gajan AF. I'm just, I'm feeling blessed that I'm sharing the screen with all of these cheekbones, first and <laughs> foremost. Okay, look at these cheekbones. What is this, a, a, a Colgate commercial? <laughs> um, y'all, we are we are massless with a vengeance, y'all. This is a citywide relapse, okay? I went to I went to two Dodger games and Disneyland in like one week. Uh, so I'm feeling good. Uh, we're all vaxxed up. Gaysians, who got the Pfizer? I did. Mm -mm. I got the Pfizer. You did? Who, okay, where my Moderna's at? Hey. Moderna. Okay. Moderna. hey. Make some noise. Any J&J &J folks? No, mm. did any did anyone get the Kirkland brand? <laughs> Is that real? They were they were giving out free free Costco samples. Uh, so if anyone needs it, I got the hookup. Um, I actually got I got the Pfizer vaccine, which turns out is just mango white claw. Um, <laughs> Fauci, Fauci and I text. He t we text. Uh, he tells me all the secrets. I love how there's like vaccine drive throughs now. Like, it's almost too good to be true, you know? It makes me wish all medical procedures were that simple. Like, how cool would it be if there was a drive through gynecologist? Yeah. You know, just, sure. just put the car in park and throw your legs out the window, you know? Boring. <laughs> or, or through the sunroof, uh, depending on what uh, insurance you have. It depends. <laughs> Blue Shield is, is, is tricky. Uh, it's really beautiful, obviously, seeing these Asian faces come together. And we've been through some crap, have we not? Um, mm -hmm. What a year of resilience and just fight and, and true, you know, community. And, you know, y'all know we've been getting blamed for COVID-19 since day one because the virus technically came from China. But so what? Like, that's not breaking news. You know, name one thing that didn't come from China. Just try. <laughs> try. Try. I will pay you if you can name one thing that was not made there. And, and what's ironic is that we actually have the highest COVID survival rate. I checked the numbers. So even through all the racism, Asians are still somehow overachieving. And just, just getting that A+. Plus. Um, we're, we're coming out of this pandemic as the valedictorian, no matter what. Um, so <laughs> we've been through so much. Uh, remember Trump TBT? <laughs> what? Mm. what? <laughs> Don't miss him at all. Remember, like, it's, it's so nuts that, like, it's been 365 days, like, plus. Like, remember mm. when he tried to ban TikTok? Like, he, <laughs> he, he tried to ban TikTok because it's a Chinese app and he was paranoid that it was leaking American secrets. I'm like, TikTok? First of all, the only thing China knows about us is that we're savage, okay? <laughs> Classy, bougie, ratchet. Uh, Nasty, moody, nasty. Uh, <laughs> stupid, what's happening? What's happening? Um, I'm single. I'm single in a pandemic. 
Okay, Woo! yes. Come through. Yeah. I will unbutton. I will yes. unbutton if I start to see the viewers go up. No, no. Let's keep it PG. Uh, it, it doesn't help that I have trust issues, but I finally start to, you know, I started to let my guard down and, and you know, be open to the idea of love when this really cute girl DM'd me on Instagram. And we're hitting it what? off. She's perfect. Okay, D-Lo, she's perfect. All right? Like, she's a stranger. But I'm like, we're, we're, the chemistry's on fleek. She's the one for me. Like, she eats every part of the chicken, <laughs> you know? And, and, she, and she, she respects Michelle Branch. You know, two things I look mm. for mm -hmm. in a soulmate. And we're talking for a good three weeks, but it was all on Instagram. You know, no phone numbers yet. So one night, I'm feeling frisky, and I say, hey, like, let's FaceTime. And I'm so nervous. I'm waiting for her to reply because we never had face-to-face -face interaction. And she's typing. I'm sweating. She finally replies and she says, I'd love to FaceTime, but I can't. I have an Android. <gasps> My heart drops, okay? As if she just told me she has a wife. Like, how dare you? Keep it, how dare you keep this from me for so long? Like, don't you think this is something you should have brought up up front before things got serious? Were, were you hiding it from me? Were you hiding? Mm. I mean, I mean, as much as I am, am smitten over this girl, I just can't picture being in a relationship without airdrop. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> like, right how there. am I? How am I supposed to start a group chat with her and my family? You know, you see how there's no future here. It's just. <laughs> Like, how are we gonna raise our kids? They're gonna grow up so confused. They already have two moms. Like, let's, if she goes missing, if she goes missing, I can't find her location. It's bye-bye. It's it's milk carton time. <laughs> milk carton, okay? Like, I, can, I, I can handle someone who, you know, doesn't like dogs. I can handle someone who thinks the earth is flat, but that green <laughs> bubble, that green bubble is a deal breaker. Ooh. Is this a Samsung crowd? Is this a Samsung crowd? Let me know. Um, so, of course, being single, all of my friends are getting married. And because of the pandemic, all of the weddings got pushed. So I'm going to be a bridesmaid like four times in September. One more. One more and I get a free boba milk tea. It's the um, stamp, card, stamp card system. And it's exhausting. Okay, I know some girls love being bridesmaids, but I hate it. Like at this point, I don't know what's worse: getting asked to be a bridesmaid or getting selected for jury duty. It's just the same. <laughs> it's the same dread, the same burden when I open up that envelope. Like, why me? <laughs> I thought I just did this. I thought I just did this. <laughs> I, I wish I could get out of being a bridesmaid. Like I can get out of jury duty. Like. <laughs> I wish I could just show up at the wedding and pretend I don't know English, you know, just, <laughs> just, just call the bride and tell her I hate cops. Like, how do I, how do I get out of here? <laughs> and just like jury duty, you're forced to interact with people you don't know. Like the bachelorette weekend is a nightmare. Okay. Everyone's yeah. like phones out, Instagram boomerangs, IG lives, the cameras left and right. Like what kind of reality show did I sign up for? <laughs> it's me. It's me, the coworker, the cousin, the college roommate, the groom sister, the summer camp BFF, the hairstylist. It's literally seven strangers picked to live in a house and have their lives taped. <laughs> that was a new one. I can keep going. I can keep going, but I think I hit five minutes, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jerry, we said only A material, only material that's been tested on <laughs> yeah. We're uh, not guinea pigs. We're not guinea pigs. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'm happy to take notes as well. So if you have notes, that's hit so me. Fun. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Dilo, I have you... notes. <laughs> Dilo, do you have something you'd like to admit to all of us right now about your phone? Um, <clears throat> I I am so proud of this. I have I have more Android pride <laughs> than gay pride, okay? <laughs> I just, I just want y'all to see how dope this is. Oh my goodness! Tell me on that. I would, I would pick your set apart because we got WhatsApp. You got, we got WhatsApp. We all got WhatsApp. We got WeChat. We got, 
You're like, we got Instagram. No, no, no. We, <laughs> we all have it. We Google. All have it. You got Google? Oh, not the FaceTime. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, saying. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we just like, got you. <laughs> Listen, one out of six Americans has an Android. <laughs> That's an amazing people. Did you just look up these that. stats? I hear, I hear <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin singing. Sarah McLaughlin? Oh, yes, one out of six. <laughs> uh, no, d I love you so much. You know, this is safe space, babe. Safe space. I'm so babe. glad I, I can't date you. <laughs> Listen, that's the reason. That's the only reason why you have an Android because we would fall in love immediately. That's it's too wow. risky. It's too risky. I know. I know. The universe works in mysterious ways, you know. Dilo, we accept you for no, no matter what's in your pocket. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yourself, Chris. I didn't say oh. that. <laughs> There's the more phobic that. things being said right now than anything. <laughs> <being said. laughs> Happy Pride. Oh, Happy Pride yeah. for you. The fact that Dilo just came out as an Android user. <laughs> oh, oh no! Hey. Of course he's out. No. That is, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, on the that wrong was an outing. I'm so yeah. sorry, Dilo. If that was traumatic in any way, I'm so sorry. Do your parents know? I heard, I heard it time. <laughs> this is I heard funny. It gets better. I heard it, gets better. <laughs> it gets better. It gets better. The world starts buying androids. Yeah, you'll find your community, babe. You'll find you your know community. What pisses me off is that James Corden walks around pretending that he is an Android user. <laughs> Do you have some inside scoop about James Corden's tech use? <laughs> Listen. Yeah. I do an A, a to M there. <laughs> no, that was, that was A to Z, and I'm here for it. <laughs> Where's the receipts? So Honey, screenshot. We need to know more, Chris. You can't just say that. And then no, I'm just talking about James but, Corden taking all the queer roles in musical theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James Corden <laughs> is. No, James Corden like, is. We're all, all here. Now we're all with you. <laughs> Spell it out. Yeah. Drop it in the chat. Yeah. Okay. I just thought that this was like my community and like we would know the references and like. You. I got you. I got you. sort of scary and I. Yeah. James Corden is a Huawei user. <laughs> There's an assumption that we uh, we watch James Corgan as much as you do. <laughs> James Corden is still Corden. rocking. James Corden is still rocking a T-Mobile sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Chris has the best room. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, that wasn't planned. <laughs> I didn't know this well, was a room competition. Well, I wasn't prepared. I, I'm clearly not in the running. I just wanted to point out that this room, the lighting, your earring. I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna stop you right there. Let's 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 let the audience know that Chris <laughs> did not come into this with this room. He saw our oh natural room moments that we had already set up casually and then he left the chat we had five minutes left before we had to get here to this moment and he mm -hmm. left and we were like where is he we need him for sound check he was decorating the room mm -hmm. America. <laughs> he was decorating mm -hmm. the room those this lights was bears hell <laughs> <laughs> it was just boxes <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you don't know how to win. <laughs> you had 30 oh. some odd years to figure it out. Uh, oh, figure it oh out. we're talking numbers now. We're talking wow. numbers. Wow. Okay. Casa, you started something. Listen. Everyone's getting outed. Everyone's it's getting outed. It's a bunch outed. of outings. I'm so, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Outed. <laughs> For the record. We'll get outed next. I'm getting outed as a narcissist because look what I have streaming. Ah, oh, yourself. <laughs> yourself. That's, not even, that's that not even is. that I made. That's just you for 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. just one of my self tapes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On loop. Yeah, that's Black Mirror. <laughs> you have a whole playlist of just your self tapes. <laughs> <laughs> like only the things you didn't book, you know? Like the yeah, trouble's yeah. not. Yeah, the yeah, trouble's yeah. not on that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This yeah. is just makes me go harder. Mm. <laughs> oh, Taking shoot. notes. Oh, that's too real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like what I would get outed for, and I'm like, okay, what what can I get ahead of? What can I what can you I get out of? Oh, can you cover up? Yeah. yeah, but I'm like, what? I'm like, I think I think for this show, it would be like, I don't like my. I don't own books. Oh. <laughs> 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 my book, right, my book is the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> 
sure. No one asked you to do. No one asked no. you to out. You didn't need I'm to. Out in front of it. I don't. Want to handle. No, same. No, legit. Honestly, Giovanni, thank you because you are not alone. I do not read as much as I should, as much as like everyone on Instagram does. The last book I read, I'm sorry, this is LA Public Library. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, no, I can still be. I can still be a spokesperson. I can still be a spokesperson. I do know how to read. I do know how to read. Doubt it. So, yeah. But what doubt? Prove it. <laughs> the one of the last books I read, cover to cover. Holes. <laughs> Holes. That's all I gotta say. Before. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Wait, was that a hint about what was in the book, or is that the title of the book? That was actually a tease for my memoir about the female body. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's, really there's don't three read of them. So, I'm with you. I'm with we you. Have, I, don't, I don't read a read a whole lot of books, but I like the concept. <laughs> yes, respect, <laughs> respect. I love respect. I, I don't know, y'all. Yeah. I got a color coded bookshelf. Not in That's this hot. one, but in a different one too. I would show. <gasps> Me too. Really hot. <gasps> we're oh, okay. We have three, three color coded books, but people okay. people also people think we're psycho. Yeah. Is, is it a turn off? Is it a turn off romantically if someone doesn't read as much as you do? Um, no, no, because okay. I don't watch TV and I don't watch TV shows, and I need somebody <clears throat> to tell me, oh, this is what happened on. Mm. What do people watch mm. on this show? This is, is that a show? On Game of Thrones. You know, mm. this is this is what happened on Game of Thrones. I need right. Thrones. Get That's still going on, right? Costa, quick, <laughs> quick question, Costa. You say you don't watch TV, but TV is your job. I know, but I don't. I don't. I know it's a thing. Ugh, we're I'm bad we're at admitting too much. We are admitting I, too much. I need to get out. Of, I need to get out front of this. I also <laughs> don't watch TV, and I'm a TV writer. <gasps> but, I, <laughs> but I don't watch. I don't like watching TV. It's so boring. To Nathan, yeah. so yeah. refreshing because I, I too don't like watching TV. But then that puts me. At, then what am I doing with my time? Then if I'm not watching TV or reading books, reading to, books. Are you a music listener? Yeah, music. Yeah, no. Um, maybe I'm just. Um, Do you hate art? <laughs> <laughs> Do you maybe go I'm to museums? Reading all the time. The public oh, library. I'm writing oh. That's what there I'm. There we doing. go. Mm. Philo's too busy making art. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love I watch watching TV. I'm I'm gonna I love watching TV. I love being lazy. I love watching movies. I'll like watch them. I'll watch shit all I'll watch stuff all day. Oh, I just I just watched the Little Mermaid OG yesterday for no <gasps> reason. No reason. Oh, but you have every reason to watch that. Mm -hmm. It's first of all, it's so erotic. <laughs> Oh, when she, now we know I'm what she's into. Yeah. I knew that I was shark? gay. Talking about that shark that, that chases him. <laughs> so this is why this is why wow. I'm always aroused when I go to Sugarfish. It makes sense. It makes sense. I remember when I, that's my that was the first movie that I ever saw was Little Mermaid. And when she which is crazy because I wasn't born yet because I'm only 26. Um, right. but I'm not in my 30s, as was alleged earlier. But when she <laughs> Foops out of the water, the 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 arched back. There it was there was a line delineated in the sand in culture where there were the people that wanted to be with her, and there are people that wanted to be her. Mm. And there are mm. other people that just just wanted to stretch. I don't know, flexibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flexible so affirmation as well. Yeah. And and <clears throat> Man. Which one side were you on at that time? I would any surface, any flat surface, you would just find me. <laughs> 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 like we had Bro, this, we had this, this, we had this like um, what is it, Ottoman, an Ottoman, and I was like four oh, years old, goodness. and I would just for like <laughs> hour, hours a day. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Just chrome. <laughs> chrome? supine. What is that? What is the technological? Oh, up, 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 uh, up, uh, dog. Yeah, no, that's Marvin. cow. Yoga. Dolphin. Yeah. Dolphin. Yes. Free Willy. Free Willy. Yeah. Yes. 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 Free Willy. Yeah. 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 Y
<laughs> Harry, what are you trying to make this? What are you a, re a reboot. <laughs> a reboot. I'm trying to pitch a reboot everywhere I go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they do have their live action coming and that's oh i'm fun. so excited mm -hmm. i'm so yeah. excited yeah. okay totally what's good. something that y'all would never want a live action of <laughs> hmm aladdin oops <laughs> <laughs> we gotta close it we gotta close it <laughs> i know we're gonna be here for another half hour but <laughs> <laughs> i am not involved i'm not involved i'm not involved yeah 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 we work for disney don't worry <laughs> she doesn't speak for all of us she doesn't speak for all of us <laughs> right, right right this is uh, just Qasem muhammad <laughs> nobody else <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. I yeah, let's all speak I for Kasa right now. What do we not want to see in TV? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we've uh, confessed we hate TV and film. <laughs> right, right. And books, apparently. And we've right. never read a book. <laughs> all media. We shot all media. Got it. Hey, what are you coming yeah, out? Yeah. <laughs> Sherry, what, what are you coming out newly about? Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait, what do you mean, babe? Oh, my, my confession. I have an well, Android. I really guess, Giovanni I guess has no books. Well, okay. I guess I piggybacked off of Giovanni with the no books. Um, I. Uh, that's my thing. That's my your thing. You that's your brand. Your that's your brand. I don't like to eat in bed. No. That's yeah. so embarrassing. Let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. No. Okay, no. we can, but it's not going to be that fun. But go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go say, ahead on this it, one. It does, I'm really excited for this, no, please. It's eating it does seem very unfun because I remember my ex used to love eating on the bed, and I would literally Ooh. put down towels. Wait, first of all, pause, pause. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. This, I mean, let me, let me, let me asterisk. Uh, food consumption in bed. I do not do. Uh, <laughs> Pride month. Um, but I would literally put put out towels and like trash bags just so no crumbs would fall onto the bed. Is that you chaos? I don't weird. think that's weird. I don't you think that's weird. As if your shoes a little weird. weird. Really? Take your shoes off when you come in the house. Don't eat in the bed. You're gonna have crumbs in the bed. Yeah. No crumbs. Also, 2021. Yeah, you're you're coming up to say that you don't like to sleep in trash. <laughs> <laughs> You just want to be included. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry's Sherry, so quirky. You're, you're trying yeah. to be repressed. You're trying to be that's, oppressed yeah. here. That's my thing. You know okay, what? You know what? You're canceled. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sick. I don't want to I, I don't want to hear it. Not because you're problematic, because but that was, you know, <laughs> this is gonna get caught in time this hour that we have together, and that's what we're gonna have to watch back. <laughs> In ten years, <laughs> at this reunion, mm -mm. I'm gonna pass mm -mm. that confession down like a family heirloom. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I'm I feel like this is the most da dangerous safe space I've ever been in <laughs> my life. It's a very rocky safe space. They weren't there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we did. We set zero guidelines, zero parameters. Uh, right. Like, think safe space, but escape room. You know. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I thought yeah. Sherry's outing was the narcissist. Oh yeah. Oh, right? the narcissist. Oh, yeah. I'm a self streamer. Oh, again. Oh I'm yes. A, oh, my oh, God. God. All of you on there. All of you. She on was there. so narcissistic. She just decided to go again. <laughs> <laughs> the ring light. The ring light. Not to get confused with my Nuva ring. Not to get confused. <laughs> Two different things. <laughs> Not to get confused. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, all right. So we're 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 vaxxed and ready for summer. What are you excited for? What's like? How's your Pride Month going? Like, are, do you have any summer plans? What's going on for summertime? I will be honest. No, you go first. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 Chris, please. please. I have no, Chris, you allegedly have the best room. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Come over and I'll prove it. Uh, so the mask okay. mandate ended on Tuesday or got lifted on Tuesday. So I was like, well, I have to go out and celebrate. So I went out to the Abbey with mm -hmm. a couple friends and we did like the whole countdown, five, four, three, two, one. And then the next morning <laughs> I woke up uh, and I got, I'm sick, fully <gasps> sick. I spent, I spent oh. a couple hours out one night, immediately my body, I, I realized how weak I am. <laughs> no. Yeah, I I uh I just slept in bed for I don't know like eight days straight. Oh, are you oh feeling God. better? Oh you look, you yeah, look yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, today so I'm like good. 
but it like it mm. took up until yesterday. Wow. Wow. Was, were you worried it was COVID or were you like, I, it's I a was common totally cold? worried it was COVID. Yeah. So what yeah. was it? Just a cold? Mm. Just a cold, I guess. Yeah. I took a COVID test. Um, just wow. To, like, bring the cold COVID. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was doing a throwback there to right. 2018. <laughs> a little homage. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm looking forward to um, getting a better immune system, I guess. Right. Oh, mm. so like, oh, God, that's so vintage of you. Um, I I will say I was going to confess something else. I did uh, since it's Pride Month and we are sex positivity. I mean, not that I even had sex, but I kissed a stranger. Oh, mm. I straight wow. up kissed. I went for it, y'all. Back, cool. the city opened up. I yes. kissed a stranger. Was it like, I remember I that? Wow. Was I'm it on not? the street? Was it at a grocery hey. store? Like, how did it go? Yeah. Yeah. Ambush style was it was the Starbucks I, barista. <laughs> more like an Ashton Kutcher punked moment. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no, it was consensual. And it was, mm. I know the way I'm talking about it, it's like a hit and run. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it was consensual. And it was at a bar in K-Town. Oh my, oh, oh my God. I love that. It was cute. What a what modern love story, right? Modern <sighs> Asian love story. And yeah. actually, it was it was a it was a woman. So modern queer Asian story, modern Asian Asian story. Mm. Wait, what is this? What am I saying? Okay, is that a haiku. You're is that a haiku. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. That's something That's so beautiful. I wanted to confess. That's something I wanted to confess. So I do like look forward to those fun, uh, you know, on a whim moments that we had pre pandy. Um, mm -hmm. that just made us feel so liberated and young and wild and free. Um, and I also hope that. Rain on me gets the summer it deserves. Every song. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. Dua Lipa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're brave, Sherry. You're really brave. That was your third this confession. Inspiring. Back to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next. Who did, uh, who's good? Who has summer plans? I'm seeing a lot of family. It's kind of, it's, I don't want to say boring, but you know, it's where, just expected. Where are they? They, yeah. my mom's visiting right now. <gasps> She's in the other room. Oh yeah, I mean. Does she know you're doing this? Can't hear this any of this. I said, mom, I'm going on a panel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all I said. Did she, did she, did she comment on your color coded books? You know, she she did. She liked it. She was she was a fan. I just moved into a new spot, color coded books, new decor. Mom came to visit mm. me and my partner. It's um yeah, it's it's fun, but it's very tame, you know. Uh, tame. No, honey, you no. We love tame. We yeah. love tame because you know there's yeah. something under there. It's mysterious. Mm. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's it's an enigma. That's a good word, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. good very word. good. <laughs> Public library. Yeah. Public library word. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that's me. You know. Yeah. Heck yeah, I love family. <laughs> Just period. I, <laughs> family. Family. I'm, about, I'm about cousins. I'm excited for cousins. Yeah. Family yes. goes. Mm -hmm. I love my cousins. My cousin wants to go on a road trip this summer with me. Um, he wants to go because when so ten it's our ten year anniversary. So ten years ago, I road tripped um, to basically the 48 contiguous United States with my cousin. And I had contiguous. saved up for the contiguous mm -hmm. touching. <laughs> <laughs> so I had, oh, there you go. LA Public Library. That's why you should read. LA Public Library. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, I had, I had planned this trip for three years to go because I wanted to do this food trip around America. And I, it was the morning of, the morning of, we packed up our car in Ohio. And my brother's like, where are you going? And I was just like, oh, I'm going on a road trip around America. And he goes, I want to go. So my parents gave my brother money. And they, they had like, this is too much trauma for, for a fun little kiki. But, but um, you know, we weren't on, we, my parents and I weren't on speaking terms, but they gave him <clears> money <throat> to travel America with me. And then we got in a big fight where we ran out of the car in the Colorado desert, <laughs> screaming at each other. And then um, he left me in North Carolina. <laughs> and my cousin has the audacity to want to relive this trip. <laughs> 10 years later, I'm like, did you, you don't remember any of it, do you? 
you don't remember one bit about this trip. <laughs> so he's like, no, 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 I'll plan it. I'll plan it. It's going to be amazing. So um, we're going to, you know, TBA. A TBA. Um, you know, mm -hmm. might, be, might be going on this trip. You know, we'll see. Would your he was frozen. My brother would come? Question mark? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Are you? Is he yeah, watching the... right now? I don't know. Put your location on on your iPhone so we can find you if you go missing. Right, because yeah. you have an iPhone. Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. So, deal. There's this thing um, called Find Your iPhone. Um, <laughs> so, if you have an iPhone, you know, <laughs> you know, it can Dilo. Be found. Dilo, what are you looking forward to, my love? Summer um, 2021. Let's see. Hawaii. Ooh! Ooh yeah. what? On us. We'll go to Hawaii. Let's go, my, babe. We're one of my buddies, and um, oh. we're gonna go and get. We're gonna go and adventure and sit on our asses. We love that. Yes. Working hard this year. Oh um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'm uh, getting over this heartbreak. Uh oh. Oh, you got this, babe. Mm. You got this, babe. Mm -hmm. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Put We're it out. We're sending you mm -hmm. love. We're mm -hmm. sending you energy. We are starting brand new, babe. New chapter. Yes. Now's the time. Chapter, Now's baby. the time. Mm -hmm. New, chapter. Mm -hmm. new chapter. Los Angeles Public Library. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Chapter, hey. chapter book two. Uh, a book <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is? Does anybody have a book that like changed their lives mm. as, a, as a as a young person? Yes. yes. Oh, actually, I do. Go ahead, Dilo. Go ahead. It was, um, see, well, there was two right at the same time. But the first one was Funny Boy, which is about a gay Sri Lankan guy. Um, yeah. Camelier. And then the second one was God of Small Things, which was mm. Arundhati Roy's. Um, oh, and Serious Blooms at Night. Oh, so good, y'all. So mm. good. The writing, delectable. Ooh, oh, but I don't read that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you did read. No. Those were the last books I read. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about the cover art. Yeah. Cover art. Those books changed yeah. my world around writing. Wow. I just got read. I just got read. Uh, I actually, there was a book I read in seventh grade, and it probably wasn't appropriate for seventh grade. Go Ask Alice. Anyone? <gasps> yes, I read that. So that kind of really made an impact on me. It was. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. because, because, okay, just every week, watch Sherry Cola as Alice on Good Trouble. <laughs> we get it. We get it. We get it. No, not even. I know. I like it's how really that, named, that name means something to me now. But back then, it was like, it, it was this girl's diary. And, like, she, like, overdosed. And it was the whole thing. And, like, they found her diary. And they published it. And she had a boyfriend. And, like, it was a lot. But I was just reading this. And, and my little mind was uh, corrupted very early. Yeah. Can we also, I remember I got access to that book through those scholastic um, pre-orders that you would do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why, I think I read it like in sixth or seventh grade too. Like why was, why was that to be that so should have been That should have been behind the, the red yeah. curtain, the velvet curtain <laughs> of the right. scholastic. And I remember I got that because there was a sale on it and I was like, ooh, this one, this yeah. one. Well, yeah, I know, because cause our moms are ordering this for us. They can't pass up a deal. They're like, this is about, this is about sex and drugs, but it's half off. Right. right. <laughs> did you guys, did you all have this uh, when you were kids where, like, you, it was Book It, where you, you read books and then you get a free personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut? <laughs> Oh, I wish. I no, but, but yeah. I read, Can you imagine? I read so much. <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, today when we book a roll, when we book it, we get a free pizza? From, like... <laughs> <laughs> My self tapes would be so good. Yeah. <laughs> also, I would. <laughs> also, I would eat a. I would eat pizza once every three years. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's what I mean. Can I tell you something sad? Can I? Can I yes, yes, yes. Chris. Chris. It's a treat. Um, uh, the one time I was up for this show and my manager and I were like super excited. It was me and one other guy. And she was like, you get this. I'm treating you out to the best dinner, whatever. I've already bought the champagne. It's expensive because we were sure it was mine. Um, cut to two weeks later, we get the call that I did not get it. And it was like, okay. She's like, just take the night up. We'll talk about what to do tomorrow. I call her the next day. She's like, I got so drunk off of that campaign. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Solo mission. She was like, "I'll she share this said, with you if you book it. If you don't, it's mine." 
wow. if you don't, if you don't, more for me. <laughs> that's so that's so rotted. Oh my god. Yes, um, uh, with with that, we are gonna so roll funny. over to Q and A from. Oh. Uh, comment section so you can put yeah. in a question into the comments uh and the la public library will put it on our screen so we can answer it all right let's see uh, are the people are people asking oh, questions thanks patricia thank you for right? validating me yes it's functional <laughs> it works um it even has a split built-in split oh a yeah. built-in split so yeah. do we all <laughs> <laughs> this is sexuality preference now. Built in split. Built in split. Oh, built in split. It's a part of Harry's my... book, Holes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the second book. It's a trilogy. It's a trilogy. Yeah. It's a trilogy. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's going to be available for Pornhub and Kindle soon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pornhub is actually, I was going to say, a stupid joke. Pornhub is now streaming original content, but they always have it. They always have it. <laughs> Low budge original yeah. content. Indie indie yes. features. In, indie features. Um, <laughs> oh, that's my cousin. John Carlo. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Love the cousin. Love the cousin. Yeah. Hello, cousin. Y'all yeah. <laughs> hit us with the questions, yo. No, not no uh, yes. limits. No limits. Ask yes, <laughs> I see. I wasn't. A, I wasn't a bucket boy. I was accelerated reader. Yeah, I have accelerated uh, reader. Uh, yeah. So I again, we're cut three. Go three. ahead. Go ahead. No, yes, you go three. ahead. You go ahead. So in third grade, I broke the school record in third grade for accelerated reader, and my white white teacher, my YouTube teacher. White. That's what they say on TikTok. If you're if you're hip with it, but my YouTube teacher. Um, got so furious with me. I wasn't allowed to read for the rest of the year because oh. every hundred points you got, she had to take you to McDonald's. And so I was just like, okay, we're <gasps> gonna McDonald's, sweetie. Get in the car. Like th like back in the day in the middle of Ohio when your teacher could just put you in her car and drive <laughs> away from the school <laughs> wow. across town to McDonald's and then hang out with you while you kind of played in the play place alone. <laughs> Oh that play place, and the then drove you back. Crazy. Yeah. So I mean, she did not get paid for that. No, and you so know. she. I think she was furious. She was like, "You're not going to McDonald's for a fourth time. You gotta, you gotta calm down." And so, yes, yeah, so I wasn't allowed to um, do it anymore. And that was only like two thirds of the way through the year. Um, <laughs> wait, Costa, how was, was your accelerated experience? I just, I that very much resonates. Like, I was obsessed, y'all. Like, that was my, like, everyone knew me as accelerated reader girl. Like, I would just, like, like, my thing was, like, again, like, just having the most points. I would not, I would, like, stop hanging out with my friends and be like, sorry, I got to go read this um, Nancy Drew book right now so I could take the quiz. And I, <laughs> yeah, I was obsessed. I used to get grounded from books. From my mom, <laughs> oh, wow. because I'm an accelerated reader, and Bailey City yeah. school kid. A lot of you, a lot of us Wait. here are judging you now, Casa, because I'm, really, I, I don't know, maybe just me. Uh, <laughs> I was not the accelerated reader. Oh, we do have questions. Hilarious. We have questions. <clears throat> um, they're just not getting put on the uh, on the board. I have had to Monica be Lee. Out. Monica Lee. Monica. What projects do you all have coming out soon? Okay, that was triggering for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I'm like I was. I had a moment of like, what I can't remember, like what's a secret and what's not. I think like, that's a secret. Um, <laughs> I'm come. I'm come. I'm gonna be in the next season of Reno 911. And let's uh, go. Hey, let's go. Yes. I'm like. I'm like, I have an IG live next Tuesday. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's my next project. Yeah. Um, congrats, babe. Hell yeah. yeah the iconic. Yes. Iconic. Reno 911. Yes. That you, you're gonna you're gonna be so good because that's just like off the top. You're gonna be so good. I love stuff okay. I don't have to memorize. <laughs> <laughs> I like to watch okay. TV and I like to show up on set and <laughs> just make up what I say. <laughs> Wait, did you did you uh film it already or are you going to? I filmed it already. Oh, so fun. Okay. Proud of you, babe. Mm -hmm. Proud Thank of you. Thank you. Proud of all of you. Um, I've been doing some VO VO stuff. I'm in this uh, Paramount animation uh, Ooh, called okay. The Tiger's Apprentice. 
with literally all of I, Henry Golding, Sandra Oh, like it's unreal. Ooh, and um, nice. it's based on a it's based on a tr trilogy of books. <laughs> Stop it! Stop. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, so I have some reading to do, and uh, but yeah, it's really fun. Uh, it's just it's just dope. It's about this kid who goes on this mystical journey with all of the animals of the the Chinese zodiac. Um, and fun. and yeah, that's all I gotta say. So VO yeah. stuff, VO stuff, high key, VO yeah. stuff, high key. Yeah, <gasps> fun. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> oh, ditto. Yeah, uh, VO stuff, high key. Um, also, uh, D-Lo was in a short that I wrote and produced. It was like a queer rom-com back in February. Yes. So we are hoping for that to hit the festival season soon. So excited about Oh, my about goodness. That. Keep us and posted. Yeah, yeah. It's Please. super it's super fun. And D-Lo is so – he – yeah, you literally have brilliant. my favorite lines in it. I told brilliant. him before, but he's so brilliant. Funny. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, I love that. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. All of you are just glowing. We're just all like about to freaking. Uh, it's just, I'm, I am so optimistic and so hopeful. Like the community is stronger than it's ever been. Don't you feel that a little bit? Like it's mm -hmm. like everything we went through on top of like, you know, just realizing our worth, et cetera, et cetera, just being comfortable in every single one of our layers, queer, Asian, immigrant, you just all of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and the community of thing. it, you know, yeah. it's like the uplifting, it's the spiraling upward together, yes. which is like, yes, it's like, it's a drug. Yeah, it's different than spiraling <laughs> yeah. downwards with each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, yes. the energy, yeah. you know, and we've always had it within us, but now this energy, this like just radiance of like empowering each other, uplifting each other versus competition. We're done yeah. with that. Yeah. We are completely mm -hmm. just in each other's corner and like ha hand in hand and like having each other's backs. And like, yeah. it's, I'm so inspired to be surrounded by people like y'all for real, for real, for real. Real quick, just a speech real quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, for sure, I'm, I'm here for yeah. it. It feels so good to be in this room with all of you, doing this show, being from all over this Asian diaspora, being different kinds of queer, having like, have being uh, just finding each other and being able to to be here with you all is such, yeah. a, such a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that we kind of just answered what this Pride Month means to y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. If there's any it's extra always, load. What's your favorite thing to do during Pride? Hmm? What up, babe? But also, we didn't hear from Chris and Nathan. But yeah, um, yeah. What, what's your favorite things to do during Pride? Outside of doing Pride shows. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I just love being able to, like, um, I feel like a renewed sense of, um, uh, I mean, pride, I guess pride is the word. A renewed sense of pride in myself and the community. Like I get to just like walk around where I, wearing whatever I want when I enter like maybe non-traditional, like maybe traditionally straight spaces. I don't have, yeah. uh, I don't feel the need suddenly to do straight drag or whatever. Like I need, like I feel like I have to do the rest of the year. Um, mm -hmm. It is just like a sense of, well, I'm here and somebody's got my back. Yeah. Mm. yeah yeah i think that being unapologetic unapologetic yeah. that's where we're at right now which is so dope mm -hmm. and it's so helpful to like have like permission in a way because so often we're trying to like stay steer in lines you know but it's just like oh there's one month there's two months you know for all of us you know every year where it's like oh i don't have i don't need to ask for permission to get to be like a full existence mm -hmm. of myself you know and then trying mm -hmm. to have that carry on the whole year it's like a little booster shot every year to just like you know totally look back look, back, look forward yeah and, and the fact that we can we can embrace and celebrate who we are 365 days out of the year now because i think it, the permission was internal as well i had to give myself permission oh yeah you feel me to mm -hmm. to really be liberated and here we are like just really doing the damn thing yeah, absolutely. Nice. Proverbs, y'all. We're dropping proverbs. <laughs> oh, also, there was there's a question. There was a question specifically to Nathan of uh, <laughs> if you had the BTS meal yet? Absolutely, I got it through. Um, I you know, here's the thing. 
in America, like the, the only thing that was different was the, was the bag, you know, like, but all around the world, you know, you got to see like the amazing, like different customized things. But I will say the, like the sweet chili, like the gochujang inspired sauce that they had, it is, it is amazing. You know, like wow. I would eat it any day, but everything else was just literally regular, but um, yes, <laughs> and yes, and yes. <laughs> yes, and honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then our it all our, comes back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, last, last one, uh, we got a who who are your comedic and or queer mm -hmm. inspirations? Very good. Well, Margaret Cho for sure. I mean, for Margaret me, just Cho, literally man. as a bisexual female Asian stand up. You know what I mean? Like it just she was everything. Like watching her be so outspoken and bold, and you know the things that came out of her mouth surprise people. She did not fit this BS stereotype definition that other people were putting on Asian women. And it was just such a breath of fresh air. And I don't even know how I acquired this, like these videos, to be honest, I don't know where I even watched this, but I remember watching it and just being so blown away and wanting to live my life like that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. she did just recently guest star on Good Trouble. So it was this like full circle moment. Oh my gosh, I'm listening. Yeah, it was, I mean, a dream. And she's just a dream. She's perfect. She's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. My my th friend in third grade, it was like third grade or fourth grade, taped her special off of Comedy Central and gave it to me and was like, I think you might like like this kind of thing. Like un unasked, you know, like I was like, oh, there's an Asian person on TV. You you've never seen another Asian person. And it was exactly Sherry. It was magic. It changed uh, my life. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. really cute that a third grader's instinct was to be like, yeah. this match. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the VHS. Theater. I had to go, like, our, my parents had, like, this unfinished scary basement, and my dad had, like, this really tiny, t it was, like, probably, like, a like, seven-inch screen. I mean, no, five-inch screen. Honestly, it was so small. And it, and I would, like, sneak down, since my parents were super religious, and I would, like, put the video <laughs> in at, like, two in the morning and put a blanket over the TV <laughs> and just, like, watch wow. it over and over. Ugh. You were yeah. like stealth watching Margaret Cho. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Story. Sherry, yeah. we need to go talk to her. Yes. <laughs> no, literally, I will we we will all go to brunch with Margaret Cho. Period. Margaret. The, the six of us. We'll make it happen. Charcuterie. Charcuterie <laughs> happened since right before the pandemic. And then and then everything <laughs> charcuterie. <laughs> Uh, thank you everybody for uh, for your questions that you posted up. Uh, you've all been great. And right now we're gonna hear a little spotlight. We're gonna get a spotlight from D-Lo. Hi. Yes. Head to the forward again. Um, <clears throat> so um, happy Pride everyone. We're almost at the end. Um, July, none of us are getting paid. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> just saying that um, uh, I am transgender. Um, uh, that I'm not coming out about that. I think everybody knows. But it's been <laughs> about five, six years since I've been on testosterone, which is why I sound like Drake on Auto Tune. <laughs> <laughs> there are some perks and some pains. Uh, passing, you know, passing as male now. Some of the perks are that I'm um, happier now. Um, I'm physically mm. stronger, and uh, people listen to me more. Mm. <laughs> um, some of the pains are that men are unkind to one another. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, the rest of my set is very dirty, so I thought that I would just leave you all with this coming out story. It was my first coming out story, and you know, you think that if you came out once, that people would remember that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but when they say that coming out is a process, what they really mean to say is that people have selective hearing. <laughs> um, because I had to come out three times. I had to first come out as a gay, then I had to come out and say that I was with a partner um, because my parents were like, you can't be a functioning gay. <laughs> um, and then the third time was coming out as trans. But this is my first story, um, is that I was in college two months before I graduated and I was being like, I was super, op like super queer, like super queer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, um, and 
you know, I, I look, you know, I, I, I was assigned female at birth, but I looked like a dude. Um, and so my, but my parents didn't clock it. It was two months before I graduated. Yeah. My father gives me a call. He's like, Dilo, what, what are you doing? I said, nothing, Apo, what's going on? Ah, I wanted to tell you, we found two men for you. I was like, two men? <laughs> Of course. Yeah, you don't know what the hell you're going to do after college. You have to get married. I'm like, you're trying to, I'm going to get off the phone. Right? I mean, that's very nice of you. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay. He's like, no, no, no. What's the problem? Huh? There are two doctors in North Carolina we are looking at. I was like, uh, Appa, no. He's like, what, do you have a, do you have a boyfriend? I was like, no, Appa, I don't have a boyfriend. What's the bloody problem? There are two brothers and you can pick which one you want. And I was like, Thank you. Uh, it's very uh, feminist of you, but um, no, I'm not. I'm no, no, no. What? Do you have a girlfriend? I was like, uh, see, uh, well, uh, what happened was, I, uh, what are you trying to tell me? That you're gay? You're not gay. Are you gay? Up, I think you're asking a question you don't really want to know the answer to. <laughs> no, no, I know you're not gay. Do not tell me you're gay. You are not gay. <laughs> Are you gay? <laughs> I was like, yes, Appa, I'm gay. He's like, click, you know, very satisfying going, going down back in the day, you know. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. I felt it on the other end. But then 10 minutes later, my Amma calls, my mother, and she's like, uh, Dilo, so uh, Appa just told me something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm a, what's up uh dilo are you a gay yes, yes I'm, I'm a gay for for how long have you known that you're a gay uh pretty much all my life i who else knows that you're a gay <laughs> like i'm a pretty much everybody but you like, how, how do they know i was like have you seen me <laughs> you're not clock this um Amma has no gaydar um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I say that story because where, where we're, you know, where I'm at right now, my parents are, are good with me. And I, and I'm, this is, this is a story. Yes. I'm a comedian, but I just want to say this to everybody out there that I used to go around uh, when I do the college university circuit, I tell students, you know, um, if you see that your parents have a little sliver of like love for you, they're just trying to understand your like you and they but they love you. Like it just takes time, you know. We have to go to our blood family, try and like work out some sort of conversation with them, get them to a new place of understanding. But then as soon as you do that, leave, like go away quick as possible and go kick it with your chosen family, because that's how queer people survive. And you mm. just get built up by your chosen family, laughing, kicking with all your peoples. And then once you're strong enough, you go back. And then I was thinking about this and I was like, I can't be telling queer people this without telling straight and cis people that meanwhile that you're trying to work this out, queer people are crumbling. Mm. And so you don't want to have crumpled queer people. Nobody likes crumpled. We all love queer people. They bring such fabulousness to our to our world. So all my straight, straight and cis people um, do better. That's because that's how it gets better. Thank you very much for your time. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you to the Los Angeles Public Library. <laughs> <laughs> and Asian as fuck. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. <laughs> One more minute. One <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, thank you so much, LA Public Library, for having all of us. And this has been such a joy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Bye. Pride, y'all. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Bye. Bye. I'm taking so many screenshots. All right, I'll send it later. Yes. <laughs> I'm a stage okay. mom. You all are oh. amazing. This was so. Are lovely. we still public? Is this private library now? No, we're still on. Oh, we're still Thank on. you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Uh, felt like a key listening to Kiki with friends. I got my tea right here, so you know, enjoy the conversation. Um, and I just like to thank you all for thank joining you. us. Uh for today's LA Made program. Remember to check out the library's online calendar at lapl.org forward slash events. And please join the Summer Reading Challenge, which started this week. 
collect points for reading and completing fun learning-based activities, go to lapl.org forward slash summer for more information and to register. And you don't want to miss our LMA program on Saturday, June 26th at 11 a.m., a conversation between Hanif Abdurraqib and Courtney Lilly. Abdul Rakib is a New York Times bestselling author, and he will be in conversation with Courtney Lilly, head writer of the television show Blackish. We are letting you know early so you can put it in your calendar. We truly appreciate all your support and see you next time. Goodbye. Happy Pride. <laughs>